and some new skills. I'm working on um, my YouTube channel and learning how to um, use some software online. Now, I had that look. Oh, it turned upside down. So, on our sample card, I tied that ribbon all the way around the front of the card. But I got to looking at that, and you know what? For this card, I'm gonna tie it around just this panel. And this is the gorgeous Parakeet Party. Let me see what this ribbon is called. Pull one of them out. Metallic Woven Ribbon. And it's only an eighth of an inch wide. But look at the sparkle in this ribbon. Like I said, this is the uh, Parakeet Party. I love that ribbon. Oh, let me get it put back over here on the shelf. And I'm gonna tie it around just this card, the, the panel that goes on the front of the card. Make sure I've got it flat, I do. And it's just centered, it's just a bow. And remember, you can use a glue dot to um, kind of hold that bow in place. And I probably will because I want it to be in the center. Nothing fancy, not trying to space it. <laughs> I have a ceiling fan in here, and when the air conditioner and the ceiling fan are running, it blows my stuff around. You can't even use embossing powder right now because it ends up everywhere with the air currents that are circulating around. So, I'm making plans for a product-based class. I'm not going to be able to do it in July. We've already uh, booked a camping trip so that we can camp with our grandchildren. And um, my card class is on July the 26th, which is a Tuesday, because I couldn't have it that Thursday of the week before. So I kind of ran out of days, didn't give myself enough lead time to get things ordered in order to have it before I went. So I'm looking in August, uh, August the 11th, I think, for a product-based class. Uh, yes. So more information will be coming out about that. Like what stamp sets, what products, how much, all of that. But that's where email is really important. And if you haven't signed up for my email list, you need to do that. Here on my Facebook page, there's a button under the header that says uh, sign up for email. And that's probably the easiest way. You can do it on my um, business page, the Stampin' Up! business page, you can sign up for newsletters there. You can just comment on this uh, live that you would like to be in my email list. That's probably the best way to uh, know what's going to be happening. So, I decided to mount that on Stampin' Dimensionals, and then I'm going to put this on flat. On our sample card, this one is the one that's on dimensionals. But since I tied the ribbon around it, and I'm gonna use the element that I've already stamped. And we just have to decide if we're gonna do it straight or angled. This is a neat, neat way to use your designer series paper. You just pick out a couple of uh, coordinating colors and it tells you on the back, if you'll remember, on the back of our packaging, where it has the name of the paper, there's also a list of coordinating colors, so you don't have to guess. Now, it's fun to go to your papers and look through them and lay the pieces on there and see, does this look good, does this look good? But it's kind of nice that Stamping Up has done the work for you and you don't have to uh, guess. This it was a fun way to use this piece of paper. 
And sometimes these busy or papers are hard to use because it the, the sentiments kind of get lost in the design. But because you've got it on um, on some cardstock, now I did not offer um, any glitz on this one. But I'm going to look through my stuff. And these in color dots, no, I don't want those. I think that's what I did. I just couldn't pick one that I liked. All right, so let's do the inside. Because for this card, my outside has the happy birthday. My inside is going to need the sentiment. And since I chose not to use the one that was on the outside of that card, it can become the inside of this card. Does that make any sense? Of course it does. Mount that in there. And I don't think I had a piece of paper in my envelope. So what I'm gonna do is stamp the flowers in Parakeet Party and Night of Navy. That's cute. And I'm also going to stamp my envelope because I want it to kind of coordinate with the card. And I think I want to stamp my words in Night of Navy so they'll be a little bit easier to read. You are wonderful in every way for a happy birthday. What a nice happy birthday to tell your recipient that they are wonderful in every way. Spray my stamp cleaning pad over here and clean this one. Because I think what I want to do is just alternate the colors. And yes, I could have done all the green and then done all of the Night of Navy. But I kind of wanted to see how they were going to line up. So when you do that, when you're alternating colors, be sure and clean your stamp between. Because what will happen you'll end up getting Knight of Navy on your Parakeet Party stamp pad, and that's not good. It doesn't really hurt it, but it looks yucky and, you know. So this card is was probably one of the quick, easy, got a nice happy birthday here, and a happy birthday here. I'm just going to put them side by side so you have a nice layout. And that, my friends, is card number two of card class this month. I plan on doing an unboxing video tomorrow because my order is coming. I don't know what time it'll be here, so I can't really give you a time. But I hope you can join me to see uh, some of the new products from the July to December mini catalog. It goes live tomorrow. I think I showed you the front of it. They've been arriving in mailboxes, but if you haven't gotten yours and you want one, comment and let me know and I will deliver it, mail it, whatever needs to happen. If you um, are a regular customer and ordered in the last year, you uh, got one automatically. But um, I have a pretty good list of people, and I just don't know if you want one or not. So I didn't send it to everybody, but totally can. This goes live at midnight tonight, and I can't show you the inside. Sorry. And in addition to that, the second round of celebration, I think I'll just do it like this, begins which means for every $50 you order, you get free products. 
and there are some really nice ones in here this time. I like that they have coordinated some of the offerings with some of the things either in this catalog or the annual catalog, so it makes your products go farther to combine them. Um, once again, when you ask for a catalog, you'll get a copy of each of these. It goes live at midnight. I'll do my unboxing in the more, uh, when I get my order. Like I said, I don't know what time that will be, but I might not have time to do a card tomorrow, so you may have to watch for the other three cards next week because we're running out of week. Um, Monday is the 4th, so probably won't do a video that day. It's a regular day for us around here. Uh, no holidays involved. So that is all I have for today. I really appreciate you stopping by with me. If you're interested in knowing, I will post in the comments or in the description the product numbers for these items because if you would like to own them yourself, I use the new, um, I'm not gonna remember what it's called now. There's three shapes in it, and it's in the annual catalog. Hang on, I've got one right here beside me. I can show you the inside of this catalog. So let me look. They're new dies, because they've retired some of our favorites, but have no fear. They have um, managed to fill in those gaps. They are called stylish shapes. I love them. It, it puts this little detail around the edge. It, they can be layered. There's circles, squares, and then the little banners. Very, very useful. So that was, uh, I did the die cutting ahead of time. I'm sorry, I didn't even mention that. I will put that item number also in the description. So like I said, Thanks for joining me, and if you have any questions, just comment because I do get notification whenever people comment on these, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye, y'all.